Hey, how's it hanging, folks? BQ here with the Impact Lounge. As always, if you're a first timer, please hit that subscribe button. Haven't uploaded much content to the channel lately. It's just been so quiet on the Impact Wrestling front. Holidays and all that good stuff, of course, taken into consideration. But uh, yeah, haven't had an opportunity to do a whole lot. But I did want to talk about something and uh, you know read your opinions about about it um, in the comments. So interview with Carl Anderson the other day. I believe he's on the Stone Cold podcast or Steve Austin show rather. It said that they almost signed with TNA. Now, if you guys remember, there was the whole drama when AJ Styles went to WWE, where you know TNA and Dixie Carter released a statement online saying that. AJ Styles had an agreement to return to TNA, that the Bullet Club was coming. So it seems like there was some truth to that. Now, AJ did say in an interview that what he did sign was a letter of intent. And in many cases, that is a legal binding document. So maybe uh, Impact doesn't have the best lawyers in the world. Or maybe, you know, maybe state laws differ from um, state to state in that regard. But, you know, that is a legal binding document. But it seemed like that wasn't very much a possibility. And what he had said really lined up with something AJ had said back then, too, where they were doing their thing in Japan and uh, really wanted to get back to the United States. So if you remember when they debuted on Pop TV, that's when James Storm made his return. From what I was understanding, and maybe several of you have heard this, that initially was supposed to be the AJ Styles return. Um, and I, don't, I don't know if the if uh, Carl Anderson and Lou Gallows were going to be incorporated in that in that or not, but that was initially um, slated to be the return of AJ Styles. I guess that fell through, and that's where they pushed to bring James Storm back and give him a sizable deal. So interesting stuff, you know. They wanted to bring and and you know let's not. Let's not be dumb here. Of course, people are going to take the WWE opportunity more often than not. It just depends what people want for themselves. And I've used the analogy before of the, you know, the NBA player who would rather, you know, play overseas, make a good living, be a starter, play a big role rather than come to the NBA and sit on the bench. You know, so there are wrestlers who feel that way as well, but we're not going to compare the two. Obviously, the opportunity opportunity that they wanted came about, and that's what they took. But I can't help but to think how how fun it would would have been to see those guys in the company. And I'm talking about Gallows and Anderson, you know, because at the time they did have Beer Money and the Wolves, and you know, the tag team division, and then Decay was starting to roll around. The tag team division was pretty hot there for a few months. Um, at the beginning of 2016 and, you know, end of 2015 and all that. So it could have been cool. It could have been interesting. And I know that they wanted to bring, you know, the whole Bullet Club to, to, the, United, you know, to the United States. Because it wasn't, it was very popular in Japan, but people weren't really on that bandwagon in the U.S. quite yet. You know, they wanted to get in the States. And it would have been interesting to see what would have happened with, like, the Bullet Club in TNA. Because obviously they go to WWE and they do the whole club thing and all that, but it's not, it's not the same. You know, they they were not able to incorporate that gimmick and they like to tease it on social media and Finn Balor and all that. I've seen, you know, all the teases and the trolling, but it was obviously something they couldn't do. Now, it was about the, the tail end of when I stopped watching WWE was when Anderson Gallows made their debut. So I think I may have seen them for two to three weeks on TV before I had stopped watching so I don't I'm no expert on how they've been booked I've um, understood they've lost quite a bit I don't know if they're doing comedy or they're just they're just kind of jobbing or what now obviously that was the place they wanted to be they wanted that exposure and uh, it was cool for Gallows to be you know essentially fired in return and then uh, Carl Anderson to get his opportunity but how cool would it have been to see those guys even if it was you know short term it would have been really cool you know they used to do a lot with maria and mike bennett in japan and obviously we had them in the company last year so they could have rehashed some things and it could have really been the start of you know getting the company hot again because even though i i think the product is pretty solid right now they don't they need to get hot with somebody somebody needs to get on fire 
And for some people, that's Eli Drake, but that's, you know, the fans of the company, for, for them, it's Eli Drake. But for the outsiders, they don't have that, that draw right now to bring him back into the company. So would have been really cool. Uh, didn't happen, and we move on, you know. Uh, the better opportunity came for them, the opportunity they wanted, but it still would have been really, really interesting just to see uh, what they could have done and what the Bullet Club could have been in the U.S., you know, obviously it's in the U.S. now with the Bucks and all that, but I'm I'm just saying with that iteration of it uh, with Anderson Gallo. So it's whatever. The time has passed, and uh, we're looking forward to 2018. I think lots of good things are going to happen, lots of stability, hopefully at least. But um, we'll see. Let me know in the comments uh, what you're thinking. Uh, if you're if you're here to troll, I'm just going to block you. So don't even waste your time. Uh, thanks for clicking though and listening obviously uh got your attention but that's it for me right now folks i hope everyone had a good holiday and uh i will be back on later in the week talk to you soon peace